Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Cook. Mr. Cook and I hope that you and your family are staying safe and everybody's healthy at your house. One of the things that I've been thinking about um, is that I would really like to show you guys how to give your trumpet and trombones a bath. Now, giving your instrument a bath is something you can do with brass instruments, but you can absolutely cannot do those with flutes, clarinets, or saxophones. Giving your an instrument like that a bath will ruin the pads on those instruments. But for trumpets and trombones, that's something you should do with your instrument once or twice a year to keep it clean. Um, when you play your instrument, things that built that you've eaten or drank um, throughout the day kind of hang out in your mouth um, and when you play your instrument those things get blown into your instrument so every once in a while you need to give your instrument a bath it just kind of helps it stay clean and keeps everything working really great um, I'm going to be showing you here how to give a trumpet ba a bath and then tomorrow I'll make a video for the trombone it's really pretty easy but it's just kind of nice to have a video that you can look and kind of remember how to do things. There's just a couple things to watch out for and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we're ready to get started. The first thing you need is, uh, I like to give my trumpet a bath in the kitchen sink, but you can also use your bathtub too. All I've done is I've run a sink full of, uh, of lukewarm water. What lu lukewarm means it's not too hot and not too cold. Kind of like a temperature you'd give a, a baby a bath, not just, just kind of in the middle. And all I did was just put dish soap in it, just like I'm going to wash dishes. Um, other things that you need are a lot of times your instrument care kits, if you got an instrument from the music store, came with a couple brushes. And this is a cleaning snake. And it's used when you give your instrument a bath and you, it kind of gets around in all of the twists and turns of your instrument. It, it has those bristles on the end like that. Um, a couple other brushes that your care kit probably came with. This is a valve brush. And this is a mouthpiece brush. I also uh, use an old toothbrush, and I'll show you what that I use that for later. It's just a toothbrush brush that's worn out for teeth, so I save it for my trumpet. And I also have a towel over here ready to go to set my trumpet down to let it dry. Um, another towel to dry it off with, a washcloth to help wash the trumpet. I also have a container of tuning slide grease. Now you want tuning slide grease, not slide grease. Slide grease, um, sometimes trombones come with slide grease and that's like for your slide that you move to play with. This is tuning slide grease for the those smaller slides like right here that you use to tune your trumpet with. And then I have valve oil to re-oil all of my valves when I'm done. Now I make sure that I use dark towels or darkish, not my lightest ones, just so uh, if there's any um, grease from the tuning slides that comes off it, it washes a lot easier than like a really light colored towel. So I'm ready to get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trumpet apart. So I'm gonna take my mouthpiece out and I'll just set these parts gently in the water. Sometimes people put like a rubber mat in the bottom. Um, I don't have one of those, so I'm just gonna be super careful when I set it down, I don't damage anything. Um, I'm gonna take these little caps off the bottom. Those just unscrew like that. Drop those gently in the water. There's three of those. Okay, I'm gonna take all of the tuning slides out. This, one, this third valve one comes out. See, there's a whole there's about four of them. Hang on a second. This, this little one up here comes out. This one does not come out on my trumpet. Hopefully it comes out on yours. I'm just gonna leave that in place. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna take out are the valves. So I'm just gonna unscrew that, like I'm gonna oil my valves, trumpet players. Okay, now this is the part where you have to kind of pay attention um, I'm gonna unscrew this cap, this little white cap that just unscrews. Now make sure you're not turning 
the valve stem while you're turning that cap. Those sh it should unscrew independently of that. I'm gonna set that button aside. I'm not gonna wash that. I'm also gonna set this aside because you see how it has felt right there? You don't wanna get that felt wet. And there's also a little felt right here then I'm gonna take that off. I don't wanna get that in the water. But the rest of this, I'm just gonna set it very, very gently in the water, especially these valves, you have to be super careful you don't dent them. Set that gently in the water. I'll do one more here to kind of watch that process with the valves. That's probably the trickiest part. Everything else is a piece of cake. Okay, so watch that valve cap again. That unscrews independently of that stem. You don't want to turn the cap and the stem at the same time. Sometimes you might have to kind of hold it a little bit. I'll unscrew that. I won't wash that. I'm going to take this part off since it has a felt on it. I don't want to get it wet. Set this over here. And then the other felt. Again, I'm going to set that aside. And then I set it gently in the water. I'll just do that really quickly with the third one. I've had this trumpet for over 20 years now, and I give it a bath twice a year, and it's really helped keep it in great shape, especially sometimes your valves get a little sticky, and it's because it needs a bath. Now I'm just gonna set that whole trumpet in the water and hopefully it fits for you. I'm probably gonna set it down with the valves in there first. I might get, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. That's why I have my cup in here too, so I can wash things, make sure everything gets wet. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use my valve brush first, get, get it kind of soapy. And what that does, you stick it in those valve casings right there. I'm gonna do each one of those twice. I'll do it kind of quickly. Usually I take a little bit longer, but since we're doing a video here, okay. And then I'll rinse, put some water in there to rinse out anything that I stirred up. Okay. Now this is where I use my, I call it a snake. It's my curved brush. And I'm gonna run it inside there in all the tubes that I can reach. any tube that I can get it into. I would do up this this part a couple times because that's where the most stuff collects because it's right by where your mouth is blowing in the instrument. And I'm gonna do these tubes. I'm gonna rinse it off so you can kind of see a little bit better. There's lots of bubbles right now. Run it in there. Okay, I've got everything scrubbed out on that. And I'll probably just take my washcloth and wipe everything else off. Get that soapy water. Oops. All right. Okay, so now I've got it all. I'm gonna just run a cup of water in there just to make sure I get all of those tubes. Anything out that I that I loosened up with the brush. Carefully, you don't give yourself a bath with the water everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse it off with, um, again, lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold. You get really hot water. I know sometimes you think about like 
You want to kill germs. Like hot water, hot hot water is bad for the lacquer on brass machines. That's why you don't want it too hot. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go set I'm gonna set it on my towel here to let it dry off and kind of before I re-oil it. Okay. And I'm gonna repeat that same process with that snake brush. I'm gonna run that in all my tuning slides. Just kind of wipe it off like that. I'm gonna use a dark washcloth so you don't get grease stains on anything. Just rinse it off. Use my snake again on this. And you just kind of repeat that process with all of the tuning slides. I won't do all of them right now because it's kind of the same process. Okay, let me show you on one of the valves. I would use that snake brush again and run it through those holes to get anything that's collected in there. Rinse it off. I want to wipe it off a little bit too. Um, sometimes, this is where I'm going to start using my toothbrush. Sometimes you get a little bit of um, black grainy stuff that collects on the bottom of those. I take your an old toothbrush and kind of scrub at that a little bit just to make sure you're getting everything off. Because sometimes if that stuff collects there, it, it works itself up into the valves. It makes them kind of sluggish. Let me do one more valve so you know how that works, just to see it one more time. Wiping it off. Take my snake brush and poke it in those holes. Again, you always want to be really gentle with the valves. Those are, you don't want to get any dents on those. And my toothbrush. I'm going to scrub at the bottom of that. Kind of rinse it off. Don't drop it like I just did. Aaron's shaking his head. Okay. The last thing I'm gonna show you how to do here, um, you have these valve caps at the bottom. I'm trying to find my toothbrush here. Okay, I'll use this. Okay, so I'm gonna, I usually, usually take my toothbrush, but I'm having trouble finding it. I'm gonna run it inside there just to make sure I get everything out of that. This is especially important to clean because again, like sometimes you get black grainy stuff that collects in there and you just wanna make sure you clean that really good so it doesn't, that grainy stuff doesn't work itself up into the valve and make the valve slow. So you do that with each one of those that's rinsed. Okay, the last thing I need to clean is my mouthpiece. There it is. Okay. So now I have my mouthpiece brush. See how it's narrow? Um, you're going to work it inside there. And this is These usually get pretty dirty. You might want to do this more than twice a year. Or if you've been, if you've been sick, it's a good thing to keep clean so you don't reinfect yourself with your cold or your flu or whatever. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off with my washcloth. Okay, that's pretty clean. All right, so after you've washed everything, you're going to let it dry. Let's move over here and okay, um, after your We'll pretend there's been some time that's gone by and we've let things dry. You're just going to reassemble everything. I'm going to put my valve caps back on. Remember, your valves are numbered. 
They always have a, like, see how it says, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a number one there. Each of the valves are numbered and each of the valve casings are numbered. So make sure you get the right valve in the right valve casing. I'm gonna put my valve back together Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna put the felt on like that. And then I need one of these. I'll stick that on next. And then the button screws on the top. Okay, so I know that that is valve number one. So that's gonna go in valve casing number one. So I will re-oil it. And all my trumpet players know how to oil their valves. You're just gonna re-oil everything. Drop it in there. Turn it till it clicks, just like you're oiling your valves. Okay, so when you're, so you're gonna put all your valves in, re-oil after everything is dry. Now to, to, to grease your tuning slides, I'll show you how to do one. It's really easy. You remember, take your tuning slide grease. If you don't have this, um, you can also use Vaseline. A lot of people have Vaseline at their house. I use that. Um, I've used that before on my tuning slide and it works fine. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. Put it on the tuning slides like that, and that keeps them moving. Just need a thin coating of it. it doesn't have to be super thick. Okay, and then I'm gonna I'll put. I usually like to put it in one at a time and kind of work it around like that. And then I stick it all in like that. Oops, I have to kind of jimmy it a little bit. There we go. Now it has a little bit of extra grease around the edge. I'm just going to take my towel or a Kleenex and wipe that off. And you do that with each one of the valves or each one of the slides. Go ahead and grease those and put them back in. Um, and you're pretty much done. Um, with your case, you can take a vacuum and vacuum that out to get any dust or whatever out. Um, but that's how you clean a trumpet. So again, make sure you do that at least twice a year and that should keep your trumpet working really great. Um, thank you for watching.